Hi everyone, it's time for another Hair of the Dog video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you an incredible new tool in Photoshop. Uh, I think it appeared in CS6 um, that will be a great way to help you stretch your canvases should you need to do that for a print or if you need to stretch the edges for um, a canvas wrap or something like that. For this particular image, I had originally cropped it to panoramic 10 by 20 but the client's going to have it as an 11 by 14. So I need to extend the top and the bottom of this image a little bit because otherwise it's just, um, I need a little bit of negative space on the sides of the dogs. I didn't want the end of the frame to be quite so close to them. So we're going to expand the, um, the canvas a little bit on the top and the bottom. So what we do is we have our, our image all set up. It's um, cropped to the proper aspect ratio. You can see this black bar up here is the part that we need to extend this image to. Um, in the past, how I would have maybe tried that was use the marquee tool and then select it and try the fill tool, um, which is shift and F5 to try to use content aware fill. Um, let's see, let's just check it out. That usually works pretty well. Just going to think for a minute. Just doing the math. That actually looks pretty good. And then I would just clean up some of these little areas where you can see where it mixes together. Another way that you can do that though, we'll delete that fill, we'll deselect that marquee, is Content Aware Stretch, I believe it's called. So we'll use that marquee tool again. This time though, we're going to select all of the image that we don't mind stretching. So we want to make sure that we don't grab the dog's heads or the dog's heads will stretch. So everything above the dog we can grab. So we just select it. We go up here to edit. Content aware scale, sorry. That's what it's called. You choose content aware scale. Simply choose this middle point and pull up. So you can see it just stretch it a little bit. So you have to be careful on how much you use it but it works pretty well. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to go back and save the other one too and just kind of see which one I like better. Um, we'll do it on the bottom here real fast again too. I think I like this a little bit better because with the um, that content aware fill, that dark spot up here on the tree, it's just starting to look a little bit too dark and then if I started messing with it too much, A, it takes time and B, once you start messing with stuff like that, sometimes it looks worse and not better. So, oops, wrong way. We'll do content aware scale for down here too. So we select the actual part of the ground that we're gonna pull and stretch. Content aware scale, just grab that middle piece and pull it down. And voila, all done. So I hope that helps you. Uh, if you need to make a little bit of, and a little bit of extra room on any canvases or any images. Uh, until next time, I hope you're enjoying your summer and um, Check out all the future tutorials at hairofthedogblog.com.